Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you uh, some MAUI control and you can say that some MAUI presentation controls which presents the data and uh, which presents the, your layout of your mobile screen and uh, which presents your UI actually. So uh, here you uh, just go for the next part. First of all add a new page in the MAUI tutorials. Uh, so just right click on the project name and just select the add new project. And here we in the select uh, left panel that is .NET MAUI and in the middle panel you can select .NET MAUI content page. In the content page you can set uh, the name is presentation control or you can say controls to present data. So presentation control demo. So here you can see that uh, here we have a presentation control demo is the filing and uh, in the app.xaml.cs file you have to set the first phase of your application that is presentation control and demo now after save this and uh, just in go for the presentation control and here you can see that uh, the first layout is the vertical stack layout in which we have a label control okay so uh, so here we have some data in the vertical stack layout so here we have some presentation control these are one by one uh, I, I would like to uh, present all these uh, controls one by one discussed all these uh, uh, here we have some uh, controls like uh, like box view so one by one uh, I want to discuss each uh, all these controls so first of all run on this uh, these are uh, in a windows machine okay so let's to play uh, these are uh, controls to present the uh, mobiles uh, look uh, mobile ui and uh, also your windows machine ui and uh, these are box view label and uh, and many more so here we have the default uh, screen which is display all these controls one by one okay so these are the data the first one is the box view control and in the box view control you can see the background color of the box view is the black so here we have the box view control background color is gray actually it's represent looking like the gray okay so this is the box view that is the background color is gray and the height request is 200 so height request is 200 i mean to say that these are the height and you can also expand this height according to the uh, data and just set the 300 uh, height we'll save this and you can set the height is 300 also you can set the width request so just you can add a uh, width width request is uh, 200 so the box is actually assigned in the left side that is the start position of your window and in the that that, uh, that is the box view okay so uh, width request is 200 and height request is 300 so if you want to uh, without uh, the um, width send then you can see that box view is looking like that okay the next thing is the label control. The text is .NET MAUI, text color is gray, font attribute is bold, and the size is title. So you can set uh, that is the .NET MAUI, that is uh, background color, and the text color is a gray. Font attribute is bold, and font size is title, and you can set also font size is larger. So you can see the output according to the larger. There is okay so in the horizontal option is center and also you can set the vertical option that is center so here we go there is so uh, this is the horizontal and the vertical option in the label so the second control is the label control the next control is ellipse you can set ellipse with the fill is the dark red color uh, just I want to say that uh, this is the uh, ellipse actually and uh, fill with the dark red color and just I want to uh, say that because the height request is 250 and the width request is 250 
if you want to increase this uh, because this is not an ellipse actually it's a circle because the height request and the width request are same if you want to change with the 350 then you can see that looking like that ellipse yeah, looking like that ellipse so I uh, fill with the dark red color just I want to fill with the uh, uh, black color and stroke is the boundary actually as uh, of the white color okay so you can see uh, there is the boundary with the white color it's not visible actually because the background is also a white color if you want to uh, set the red color so just visible with the on the black color easily so you can see and the stroke thickness is 12 and just i want to set with the two uh, with the stroke thickness so the thickness of the border is two pixels looking like that okay so horizontal option is center and the vertical option is also center you you can set in the ellipse so here we have a data for the ellipse that is the stroke thickness stroke height request width request horizontal option and the fill with the some colors the next thing is the line line is actually built with the two dots and you can say that uh, two points the first point is existing on the panel or you can say that the first uh, point is act actually exist in the layouts any layouts on the mobile screen or the window screen so the first point coordinate will uh, will be is zero zero i mean to say that the uh, that is the origin point and the last point is 150 and the y point is 100 points so and also the stroke thickness is 12 and the stroke color is just right so the line looking like that because it's starting from uh, that point is starting from the 0 0 and that point is the 150 and uh, the X that is the Y position and that is the X position so here you can see the X uh, is the 150 and the Y position is 150 so if you uh, if you want to straight line then just you can go for the 150s also the second position so the similar the uh, white position oops that is the x position and that is the white um, y position so this save this x2 and the y2 uh, is the similar with the windows and the stroke thickness is 12 and the next uh, topic is going for the rectangle wait for some times it's uh, rendered on the screen actually it's uh, x2 position and that is the y2 position that is the straight line so here we have a uh, 150 uh, if the y position is mm, decremented by 100 position then what we should look like it's not affected actually yeah it's uh, 50 only yeah and if you position looking like zero then you can see the y uh, the position will be looking like that straight line okay so uh, here you can see that the coordinate uh, in between the x2 position so x2 position is 150 i mean to say that there is the x position 150 but the y position is existing on the x2 position so similar with the this line okay so this is the straight line you can see in the the next topic is the rectangle uh, with the fill colors fill is the red color stroke is green uh, looking like that the boundary is the green color and the stroke is a uh, uh, green color with the fill is a red color a rectangular have with the four coordinates uh, sorry uh, the start positions and the width and the height uh, positions so in the radius x is 12 and the radius y is 12 height and width is 50 and uh, 100 stroke thickness is 100 radius x and the y is the uh, radius positions of the uh, rectangle control so if you set the one one then you will notice that 
your uh, your round shape is only in the one position so in the uh, diagonal position you can set the radius x and the radius y okay so radius x and the radius y height and the width is uh, width is 200 and the height is uh, according to the data is 150 so you can set that the larger rectangle okay so here the, uh, this is the rectangle uh, with the radius x and the radius y with is the uh, surrounding so corner is actually round in the round shape the next one is the polygon polygon with the fill with the blue color and the points is the with the polygon 30 10 60 70 10 40 is actually exist in the polyline actually and uh, you can say that the polygon is actually looking like that the stroke is the uh, stroke with the dark red fill with the blue color and stroke is dark okay and stroke thickness is 6 and this is the poly uh, if you want to set the polygon then these are the points okay so here we have a polygon okay if you want to set the dotted polygon looking like that here we have a dotted polygon and polygon with the fill is green color stroke uh, is the same coordinates you can set stroke is the um, dark stroke thickness is same but stroke dashed array 1.1 and stroke dashed offset is 6 then you can set that uh, type of polygon <coughs> the next one is the polyline and in the polyline you can set the heart beats and the heart lines which will, will display in the oxaloscope and uh, you can set these points uh, with the polyline 0 0 uh, start from the 0 0 so here we have a 0 0 and then next point is this and the next point is this and the next point is this and the next point is this so here we have a polygon 0 0 15 30 40 this is the co coordinates on the x y coordinates actually okay stroke is red and the next one is the path aspect is uniform this is the path actually so let's draw it and here we have a path x y coordinate in the diagonal form it, it is looking like the triangle so here we have a path uniform data is with the uh, with the alphabet letters m and l and z so here we have a path and the horizontal option is center and stroke is black now you can set also the border we have a border stroke is yellow and looking like that border is what looking like that there is the border and the level control and if you want to set that that type of level and uh, you can set that it is a mark of any company and any uh, software applications so you can set the border the stroke is yellow stroke thickness is 5 background is blue and the um, padding is 16 and 8 horizontal option is center and the border uh, border dot stroke uh, stroke shape is round rectangle with the corner radius is 50 and the, that is the start and the, that is the end so here we have that is the start and that is the end so a border have a label control with the text is dotnet movie vertical option center with horizontal option center and text color is a white so inside your border we have a dotnet mo is uh, as a label and here we have a border control stroke with the uh, yellow stroke thickness is 5 so yellow is a border and stroke thickness i mean to say that border width is 5 and background is a blue and padding is 16 8 horizontal option is center okay so the next one is the frame that is the unique uh, thing you can set that is a margin is 10 background color is black padding is 10 and image you can set image source with the looking like that board.net maui board but here is not visible okay so what's going with this dot net underscore bot save this 
okay image with the source and the solution is this and resources images dot net underscore bot in, inside the frame control the background color is black and the last one is the web view control so just uh, make that command so here we have a frame is with the black color but uh, your image is not visible because your uh, width and the height of the image is not uh, actually set so uh, width request is uh, uh, 500 and the height request is also 500 so the your uh, image will be uh, shown correctly it's actually image is not visible with the background color is black and what's going with this remove from the margin and padding Okay, 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 okay. Now change the source of the image uh, that is not visible actually uh, .NET port underscore SVG on Windows machine. So if you change uh, with the own.png file, that is there are exist in the own.png file and you will see the outputs. Okay, so here we have a frame with the background color is black and the frame is this. If you want to uh, change the uh, with the uh, round shape, uh, looking like that round shape of the frame, you can set also the round shape. There is the uh, round shape of the frame is this like looking like that is the with the background color is looking like that in the uh, black color. Okay, so here we have a image with the height and the with property is 200 and the width request is also 200 and in the frame uh, head shadow is true and uh, also corner radius is 15 so what's the looking like that there is the corner radius is this okay so here we have image so this is the next thing is the web view control where you can uh, height request is 500 source is uh, you can set the google in looking like that in the web view so you can save your browser on your this here you can set hello so here we have Thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to Maui and later I will show you how to do uh, how to uh, how to uh, initiate command with this Maui control. Thank you very much for watching.